Hi, in this problem we are going to do a proof, and we're going to prove this using the very basics. So prove that the square of any integer a is either of the form 3k or of the form 3k plus 1 for some integer k. We're going to prove this using something called the division algorithm. So before we go through the proof, let me just recall what that is. So the division algorithm says for any integers a, b with b greater than zero, there exists unique integers q and r such that we can write a equal to bq plus r with a special condition on r. It's between 0 and b. It includes 0, but it does not include b. So this is called the division algorithm, and this is what we're going to use in this problem in order to prove this. So we have to prove the square of any, any integer a is either of the form 3k or of the form 3k plus 1 for some integer k. So the natural thing to do here is we're going to take a to be our integer, and then we're going to choose b to be equal to 3. That way we get a 3 here in the formula. So let's try it. Proof. Let a be any integer. b any integer. Take b equals 3, which is positive, so it satisfies uh, one of the hypotheses of the division algorithm. Thus, by the division algorithm, there exists unique integers q and r such that a is equal to, but now it's no longer b, it's 3. So 3q plus r, whoops, let me just clean that up. I'm going a little faster, a lot of writing, so. With, we have 0 less than or equal to r less than 3. So this really helps us because this gives us a, a big restriction on a. And again, we have to look at a squared, and we have to show it's of the form 3k or 3k plus 1. That's our goal in this problem. So this tells us that r can only be 0, 1, or 2, so it really helps us. So thus, r is 0, 1, or 2. Those are the choices for r. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do each one individually. We're going to plug in r into this formula here, into this equation, and then we're going to look at a squared, and we're going to make sure that it's of the form 3k or 3k plus 1, and that will complete the proof. So let's do each one individually. If r is 0, then it's gone, then a equals 3q. So a squared equals 9q squared, right? Because you square the 3, you square the q. That's equal to 3 times 3q squared. So we can take k to be 3q squared, which is an integer. So take, set k equal 3q squared, which is an integer because it's a product of integers which is an integer. And so a squared equals 3k. And so we're done. We've, we've completed the proof. So if r is 0, we took r, plugged it into our equation, and we got a equals 3q. We squared both sides of this equation, and we wrote it as 3 times an integer. So k is an integer because it's the product of integers, and so a squared is equal to 3 times an integer, so 3k. So that meets one of the criteria. Now we'll do r equals 1. If r equals 1, then a is equal to 3q plus 1. So a squared is equal to, well, it's going to be 3q plus 1 squared. I guess I'll show it. Showing a lot of extra steps that 
you know, you don't need to show, but if it's a proof, it's better to show them, I guess. Square the first one. Whoops, my nine looks like a Q. Too many Qs. <laughs> nine, square the first one, nine Q squared plus multiply these and double them. So three Q times two is six Q square the one. So this means that A squared is equal to, well, you can pull out a three from these two terms here. So three, three Q squared plus two Q plus one. Let's just check that. Three times three Q squared is nine Q squared. Three times two Q is six Q. So set K equal to three Q squared plus two Q. So A squared is equal to three K plus one where k is an integer, All right? Because it's the sum, it's the product and sum of integers. 3q squared is an integer, 2q is an integer because they're both products of integers. Then you have a sum of integer, which is an integer. So we've fit this form here, which was one of our choices. All right, and last and certainly not least, last and certainly not least, if r equals two, then a is equal to 3q plus 2. And you can do all kinds of interesting results and problems um, using the strategy, by the way, with the division algorithm. Because of that restriction on r, you see, it gives you choices, which is pretty cool. So then we're going to look at a squared. So a squared is equal to 3q plus 2 squared, which is equal to 9q squared. Multiply these and double them, 6q times 2 is 12q. Square the 2 so you get 4. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it again here. We have a squared equals 9q squared plus 12q plus 3 plus 1. I wrote that that way because I'm going to try to factor out a 3 now, you see. So this is a squared equals 3 times 3q plus what, 3q squared plus 4q plus 1 plus 1. I hate to mess up at the very end of this super long proof. Okay, so, and it's really not that long. You can skip a lot of this. I'm just being very elaborate and trying to explain everything. Put the 3 a little bit closer to the parentheses there. I love the sound the pencil makes. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just really, really nice. So let's just check. 3 times 3q squared is 9q squared. 3 times 4q is 12q. 3 times 1 is 3. Yep. So here, this will be a squared equals 3k plus 1, where k equals 3q squared plus 4q plus 1 is an integer. And so the proof is complete, right? So I'm just going to little box there and complete the proof. So in any case, so you can say something like now, like in any case, it's of the form 3k or 3k plus 1. So I'll write it here just to be really complete. In any case, a squared is of the form 3k or 3k plus 1 for some integer k. And that completes the proof. That's a little bit better. There we go. So really nice problem. Um, very simple. Uh, you just basically have to use the division algorithm and then proceed from there. And it's just a matter of writing it out correctly and expressing your thoughts correctly. So hopefully um, if, you're, if you happen to be working on this and you happen to see this video, hopefully it helps you out. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.